short kick. And Owens comes up and grabs it on the 15 in the middle of the wedge. Cuts to the right, over the 20, up to the 25. He's hit by Bobby Abrams. Down he goes on the 27-yard line. Option right and the handoff going uh, to the fullback. And Vincey gets it over the 30, out to about the 31. He's back. He fires right sideline. Incomplete intended for the big tight end, Brian Anderson. And so Wisconsin fails to pick up a first down on its opening possession. And the Badgers will be forced to punt it away. And here's the snap, some pressure. Sapicki gets it away, hangs it high. Colazar will watch this one hit at the 31, race out of the way. The ball takes a Wisconsin bounce, and the Badgers have nine men downfield watching the ball roll inside the 20. It'll be down on the 19-yard line. Demetrius Brown leads the Wolverines out to the line of scrimmage at the 19. He splits McMurtry to the left and wide to the right. Colazar, but it's a running play, and Jamie Morris coming off the right side. Busts into the open at the 30. Up the sideline, 40, 50, looking for a block for McMurtry. Can't quite get it. A flag is thrown as Jamie has run out of bounds at the Wisconsin 35-yard line. I think we're going to get a clipping call on McMurtry. Chester at the other guard. And at the tackle spots are Doring and Elliott. Here's a handoff to Morris going left, and this time that big eight-man front for Wisconsin plugs up the hole at tackle, and Leon Johnson, the defensive tackle, makes the stop this year, and Brown is back to throw on second and nine. Fires short near side. Morris goes low, grabs the ball, and falls at the Wisconsin 45, a gain of four to set up third down and five. Replaces Jeff Brown at tight end. Third and five at the 45. Back goes Brown to throw. Time down the middle. Complete to Morris inside the 40. The loose two men inside the 30. And Jamie is to the 25 for a Michigan first down before Robert Williams could make the tackle. Looking for room. Tries to cut back against the grain. Down he goes. Hit by Dan Kissling, one of the linebackers on the 21. Morris in the eye. Two tight ends. Walker right. Brown left. Only wide out. Wellborn, the freshman to the left. Here is a handoff on a counter play. Jamie going left side. And Noka hits him. Coming in from that safety spot. Formation now. Bunch, Webb, and Morris in the backfield. McMurtry the only wide out. Hand off Jamie. Power off tackle to the right. Puts his head down. Gets to the 15, but he'll be short of a first down. Then Derek Walker, the extra tight end, and the Wolverines will go for it on fourth and one at the Badger 15. Big formation, two tight ends in. Walker left, Brown right. Bunch, Webb, and Morris in the backfield. Fake to Bunch. Brown runs option right. Keeps it first down and more inside the 10. Demetrius from to the 6. Before free safety, Greg Thomas could make the tackle. First and goal, Michigan. Guards now first and goal at the six. Colazar split to the right. The handoff goes straight up the middle to Bunch. And Bunch turns his back and plows backwards down to the one-yard line before the middle of that Wisconsin front could stop him. Quick snap count. Handoff Morris. He hesitates. Goes off right tackle. Fights down to the goal line. I don't believe he got in. No signal from the officials. And he was stopped. Stopped by Andy Hartley, the converted fullback, who's in at one of the linebacking spots in Wisconsin's short yardage defense, inches away from the goal line. Michigan huddling back on the 10. They break out of it. Demetrius Brown comes up under center. John Vitale. Wisconsin, 11 men on the line. Michigan, two tight ends and the wishbone. Webb, Bunch, and Jefferson in there. Hand off Jefferson. Right side, touchdown! Jefferson goes in, but there is a flag on the play. Hold on just a moment here. The penalty is offside against Wisconsin, and the touchdown stands for Allen Jefferson, the sophomore out of De La Salle, who carries it over for the third time this year to put the Wolverines on top six to nothing. Right. Extra point attempt by Gillette out of the hold of Robbins is good. 7.43 remaining in the first quarter. Michigan 7, Wisconsin nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Deep along with Kissling, who led the Big Ten in kickoff returns last year. Gillette's kick, a very long one. Owens, eight yards deep in the end zone, goes down on a knee and will not run it back. Ford and Marvin Hartley back there. Ford was the running mate of Alan Jefferson in high school. Here's the option left. Keys with Ford trailing is going nowhere. Hemmed in by John Willingham. Marvin Hartley in the backfield, and Keys drops the throw, looking right. Fire short, almost intercepted. That ball, J.J. Grant got out there in a hurry in front of Scott Bester, the wide receiver, who was running a slant, and J.J. got a hand out and squatted it down. Sir split, and back to throw is Bud Keyes. He's getting a blitz now. He runs out of there away from Willingham, chased by Mester. Now stops, throws back, and it is caught by Burks on a diving grab at the Wisconsin 35. That'll be a first down. Overran it. First down now for the Badgers, their first of the ball game at their own 35. 
They've got a new running back, Curtis, in there, but the handoff goes instead of Freddie Owens out of Bishop Borges, and he is stuffed. You've got John Milligan and J.J. Grant outside Bobby Abrams, Carlitos Bostic. On the corners, Campbell and Arnold as Keyes running the option, hands the ball straight up the middle. And his big back Marvin Artley miles his way out over the 35 to the 37-yard line. He got seven yards on that carry. Second and eight. Backs are split. Lewis Curtis Jr. and Marvin Artley. And the handoff goes to Curtis. And Mester stood him up right in the hole. Knocked him down at the 36 for a loss of a yard on the play. And Keyes is back to throw off a fake to Artley. Goes short over the middle, right through the hands of the tight end. Daniel Howell incomplete. Usher, Sapicki hits a low one. And our, uh, Colazar will get a return from his 25. Cuts to his left. Gets a good block. They're setting up a picket line. He's got it. 30, 35, 40. Hit the sideline. 42. And Colazar run out of bounds. And Wide to the left. Trip Wellborn out to the right. The backs are Bunch and Morris in the eye. Tight end Jeff Brown on the left. Brown turns. Gives to Jamie. Left side looking for a hole. And runs smack dab into Victor Fortino. The linebacker is hauled down at about the 40. A gate of only a yard yards a game on the run, 190 on the pass. Back goes Brown to throw. He's going deep near sideline for Colasar. He just led him too much to the sideline, incomplete. He runs away from him, scrambling around way back to his own 35, gets more pressure and fires deep up the sideline, and Jeff Brown makes the catch inside the Badger 25 and stepped out of bounds on the 22-yard line. <laughs> Shades of Jimmy Herbie. <laughs> Two-yard line. In motion right comes Wellborn. Galloway also split that way. Handoff. Morris coming right. Gets a good block in there. Has it inside the 20. And then is grabbed around the ankles by Greg Thomas and hauled down at the 17. Brown left. Derek Walker right. Wisconsin doing some shifting. Overshifting to the sideline. And now they shift back. And the handoff goes to Morris. He comes up the middle. Good tackle in there by Victor Fertino. Had Morris gotten by him, he might have taken it the route. He had up now it's. Wellborn split to the left. Jeff Brown, the tight end right, out of the wishbone. Handoff, fake to Gerard Bunch, and Brown's going to keep it around the left side. He gets a great block from Wellborn inside the five. Touchdown, Demetrius Brown. What a fake Demetrius Brown made out of that wishbone to his fullback, Gerard Bunch. Everybody bit on it. Brown kept it on the option left. Got a great downfield block from the freshman receiver, Trip Wellborn, and took it in 14 yards. And Michigan leads it 13 to nothing. In 14, Wisconsin nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Gillette's kick will be handled by Freddie Owens. Three yards deep in the end zone. He's coming out to the 10. Up the middle, 15. He makes two-man miss. Cuts to his right at the 20. Trying to get to the sideline. And Freddie Owens out of Bishop Borges is run out of bounds at the 21. Curtis and Hartley in the backfield. And it's an inside handoff to Curtis. And he runs smack dab into Mark Messner at the 21. He might have pulled his way forward to the 22. And that's it. It's fourth down. Has not been able to move the ball past its own 35-yard line. It, no pressure. Sapicki kicks it away. Pretty good kick this time. Driving Colazar back to his 34. He looks up. Cuts to his right. He gets over the 40, and then he slips as he tries to make his cut into the middle. Curry Henry can find out where all that came from. Brown turns, takes the ball to Jamie Morris, and drops the throw. He's got the wind at his back and fires for Colazar, who's got it. Down at the 35, he's hit by Robert Williams, driven back from there. But that will be a gain of 21 yards and a first down for the Wolverines. And right comes Wellborn, and the handoff goes to Jamie Morris. He high steps it over the line, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Jamie Morris. And Jamie Morris ups Michigan's lead to 20 to nothing with 22 seconds to play in the first quarter. That is an amazing run. It almost looked like it shouldn't happen. When he hurdled the guy, it didn't look like he was going to break it. But when he hit the ground, he was absolutely at full speed in one step and just absolutely outran everybody. What a great run and acceleration by Jamie Morris. Jamie Morris now has 103 yards in 10 carries in the first quarter. Extra point by Gillette is good. That's three in a row. And Michigan now leads it 21 to nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Michigan in the first quarter. Michigan 21, Wisconsin nothing. These words now on the Michigan Football Network. Third and eight for the Badgers on their own 26. Our statistician, Marty Alice, our spotter is... Jim Adams, and here's Lowry running the option right. Makes a great move, cuts it up to the 30, is hit, fumbles the football. It's down on the turf. Michigan signaling our ball, our ball. We'll wait to see. There's a big pile of players down there as the freshman quarterback coughed it up. The snap is to Picky, and he gets.
Gives his kick away under some pressure. It's a short one. Colazar comes up, grabs it on the 35. He's hemmed in. He's going to be hit and hauled down immediately at the 36-yard line. Foot to the right. Callaway left. Callaway in motion now. I formation with Bunch and Morris and Brown running the option right. Going to keep it around the right side. And Aaron swoops. Colazar set. Pitch to Morris. He hands it to Colazar in reverse. Coming left. He's got running room. 45, 50. He's up the sideline. 40 gets a great block from Vitale and is inside the 35 to the 30-yard line before John Colazar is run out of bounds by Greg Thomas. Of some 30 yards for John Colazar on the reverse. Looked absolutely awesome in the first half. Leading 21-0. They've now got first down on the 29. Hand off to Morris Deep. Coming off the right side. Finds the seam. 25. Eludes a man. Runs through the arms of another at the 20. And is all the way down to the 13-yard line. Before Brad Mayo could make the stop. A brilliant 16-yard scamper for Jamie Morris. Touchdown, buddy. You want to be a buddy's touchdown buddy? Sign up at any buddy's pizza store. Hand off Morris. Going left. Finds the seam. All the way down to the 10. Cuts back inside. A great move around Robert Williams for a Touchdown. Jamie Morris, 13 yards for his second touchdown of the day, and the Wolverines lead it 27 to nothing. A Wisconsin defender. Um, Colasar did it on the reverse to Batch, and on this one, Jamie Morris absolutely left. Robert Williams, flat-footed, his shoes nailed to the deck, gave him a little outside fake, turned it up inside, untouched into the end zone. 64 yards in four plays. Mike Gillette's extra point attempt is up, and it is good. It's 28 for Michigan. Nothing for Wisconsin. Still 12-16 to go in the first half. And we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Touchdowns in the last four minutes and 44 seconds. Here's the kick by Gillette, a little short. Owens comes up, grabs it on the run at the 8, cuts to his right, 15, finds a seam at the 25, up over the 30, and then he takes a terrific hit and goes down on the 33-yard line. Lowry, the freshman finds a seam, cuts up over the 40, out over the 45 with a nifty move to the 49 before he was hit by John Milligan and hauled down there. And he tries to run the option left, and oh my, is he drilled by John Herman, who went unblocked and came through, and Lowry never knew what hit him at midfield, a loss of three. So Picky awaits the snap. He gets it. No pressure this time. He kicks it away and hangs it high, and the wind will sail that even further. Campbell rushing to his right. Calls fair catch. The ball curled away from him. He had to dive to make the grab at the 14-yard line. To Bunch coming up the middle. He fights through a tackle by Dan Batch. Spins out to the 18-yard line. Both wideouts split left now. The handoff to Bunch coming right. He runs right into the back of Dave Chester trying to block for him and goes down at the 20-yard line. A gain of just two. The way it takes. Third down and five. Demetrius Brown back to throw from his own 20. Standing in there with time. Throw short. Right side. It is caught by Bunch. He's up to the 25. Up to the 28. It'll be a first down for Michigan. He's also scored a touchdown on a nifty 14-yard run. Out of the I formation. He gives to Morris. Coming right. Looking for running room. Breaks two tackles. Keeps his balance. Loses a shoe. Still fights forward over the 40 to the 41-yard line. 12 yards for Jamie Morris. Another first down for Michigan. And that time, Jamie ran so hard, he ran right out of his shoe, Jim. Unbelievable. It's, it's amazing. Nobody can get a clean shot at Jamie Morris. Uh, he had two people that had opportunities for shots, and Jamie, for some reason or another, instinct, you just don't teach that kind of running ability, was able to make them miss, uh, make them get a leg rather than get him full head-on with the body. And he's able to run through those tackles formation and Jefferson accepts a fake from Brown who drops to throw stands in at the 30 fires down the middle McMurtry's got it inside the 40 he has hit at the 35 goes down at the Badger 34 in the arms of Robert Williams but that will be another Michigan first down and Demetrius Brown threw that one on a ro rope to McMurtry for a pickup of some 25 yards 34 on the draw play Jamie Morris coming right squirts through at the 30 25 and then he scissored to the ground at the 22 Dan Kissling hit him low and Robert Williams hit him high but Jamie says that's okay I'm all right gets back up after gaining 12 more yards 64 yards four plays touchdown they're in the midst of TD drive number five if they can finish it off handoff to Rod Bunch going off right tackle fights down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. One penalty in the entire game so far for Michigan. Out of the wishbone. Brown hands to Bunch. His fullback coming left. Breaks one tackle. Then is hit by Greg Thomas. The safety at the 15. And Bunch carries him down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. 28 to nothing with 6.35 remaining in the first half. Now walk around the left. Brown on the right. 
Wishbone formation, Webb, Bunch, and Morris, and Demetrius Brown calls timeout. 6.09 to play first half. Michigan leading 28-0. These words now on the Michigan football network. Some defense, very young. Only one starter back from last year. Well, they're gaining some real experience here today. The school of hard knocks is in <laughs> session. Demetrius Brown out of the wishbone. Gives to Phil Webb. Left side. Big hole down to the five. Fights off a tackler and fights down to the one. Greg Thomas, the leading tackler at safety for this Wisconsin team. Had him at the five, but Phil Webb spun away, and they'll mark him down on the one yard line it'll be second and goal after that eight yard game quick snap count morris going off the right side big hole touchdown michigan jamie morris goes in for the third time this afternoon from a yard out as the wolverines that time march 86 yards to their fifth touchdown of the first half they lead it 34 to nothing nothing fancy frank just power off tackle the offensive line has been working with precision today and Jamie Morris just looked, found that little crease, saw the goal line, dove for it, and got in for the touchdown. We talked about it. Absolute total domination here by Wolverines offensively. Officially 85 yards in 10 plays, says Marty Hallis, our statistician. Mike Gillette's extra point attempt is up, and it's good. And Michigan now leads it by a score of 35 to nothing after Gillette's 64th consecutive extra point. 531 to go in the half. As we pause for these words now on the Michigan Football Network. There's no place home. This is the kick by Gillette into the wind. Very high, but very, very short. And this one's going to hit at the 25. Bissling grabs it on a big bounce. Cuts up field and finds some running room to the 35, the 40, the 45. And Bissling is all the way out to the 48-yard line. Boy, the Michigan players froze down there when the ball took the big hop. But Dan Bissling knew he had to grab that ball because it was free. He leaped in the air, grabbed it, cut to his right, found a big hole, and returned it 24 yards. And he runs the option left with Curtis the trailing back, and Lowry will keep it, and he'll pay the price as he crossed midfield. Eric Campbell hit him. Johnson at the Michigan 48. And here's Lowry running option right. Gives to Cur Faked it to Curtis. He kept it himself. Turned it around the corner inside the 40 down to the 35. That's a gain of 13 and a first down as that freshman quarterback, Tony Lowry, does a great job of running that veer option attack. It's down Badgers at the Michigan 35. 423 left in the half. Wolverines up 35-0. Lowry running option right. Going to keep it around the corner. Down to the 30. Up sideline. 25. And he's bumped out of bounds at the 23 by Eric Campbell. And he'll hand the ball this time to Vinci coming off right tackle. Gets it inside the 20 to the 19 for a gain of three. Demetrius Brown may only... Spend a half in the ball game. Here's Lowry running option left, and three players run into each other. Mark Messner is one of the three. <laughs> he stuffs the play for a one-yard loss. What a ball game he's played in that defensive front for the Wolverines. Oh. And Bo is down there just shaking his head. At the last play, real quickly, uh, we talked about Messner having such a wonderful day. On that play, he actually took the offensive tackle, blew him into the backfield, and the offensive tackle stopped the ball carrier. And then the quarterback who saw that happening tried to pull the ball out, and Messner pushed all three of them back into them so Willingham could come in and make the hit. Third and eight, Lowry running option right is going to keep it, and he is going to be drilled by Neil Simpson, who just came into the game, replacing J.J. Grant at inside linebacker, and they're celebrating that big tackle for a one-yard loss by the freshman out of Highland Park. He has had 56 career field goals, but he stays on the bench. Fourth down, Lowry back under some heavy pressure, just throws it out in the left flat, incomplete, and then checks the truck that hit him and <laughs> finds out the license plate was number 56, Billy Harris. And Michigan will take over on downs, and the Wolverine defense is celebrating out on the field. They're knocking each other down out there. Taylor does take over at quarterback, gives on a draw to Jefferson, coming right up the middle. And he gets to the 25 for a gain of four. And fakes to Jefferson, rolls right to throw, gets a block from Huzar, pumps once. Now he's going to run up the sideline, gets to the 25, bumped out of bounds at the 27. -er. Here's Taylor back now on third and eight from his 23, getting a blitz, fires, and the ball swatted out of the air by Aaron Swopes, who was coming from that linebacking spot. Hanson went with an all-out blitz. And he's in himself will punt for the first time. He's averaging 45.1. He gets the snap, some pressure, and he shanked one. Well, that's as unusual as snow in July right there, and this one will go out of bounds at the 49-yard line of Michigan. Right Gibbs on the right side, and with a quick burst of speed, Lewis Curtis Jr. through the line. is hit at the 40, fumbles the ball forward, and Michigan is recovered on the 37-yard line. And so Curtis 
came through that right side and made a big mistake. He coughed up the football. The freshman out of Oklahoma City did. And John Milligan got it for the Wolverines. Boy. First and 10 on the 37. Taylor fakes to Webb, drops to throw. He's looking right side, fires it. And Jefferson turned to run with it too soon and dropped the ball. Jefferson and Webb running in that backfield now. McMurtry and Colazar in there at the moment. 35-0. Michigan on top. The Wolverines scoring touchdowns on their first five possessions. Taylor back, fakes the draw play to Webb, sets up screen left, delivers it to Jefferson, 30, 35, good blocking upfield, 40, 45, over midfield, and he's finally hit inside the Wisconsin 45 and goes down on the 43, 20 yards on the screen pass, and Michigan now will line up quickly, or will they? Chains being moved up, clock stopped while the chains are set, 106 remaining in the half, Michigan comes to the line, and to the left. Jefferson and Webb split in the backfield. Here's a draw play, and Phil Webb comes up the middle, makes a great move to his right, inside the 40, 35, down to the 32-yard line, 11 yards before Mike Brecky made the tackle in the secondary, along with Aaron Swopes, the linebacker. He's developing. Taylor back to throw on first down at the 32. Looking right, now left, by her sideline. Callaway's got it and falls out of bounds on the 14. 18 yards as Michael Taylor gets in on the punt. Well, he rifled that one in, too. Michael Taylor, who is of the two quarterbacks that were in contention for the job at the beginning of the season is to be the better runner. He's not as good a thrower as Demetrius Brown. You couldn't tell it on that play. Eye formation fakes to Jefferson, sets up the throw at the 20, wants to run now, takes off to his right, stops, eludes a man, cuts up the 15, makes two great moves inside the 10 and down to the seven yard line with 26 seconds remaining in the half. They've got to call timeout quickly now. Clock still running and finally the Wolverines call time with 21 seconds to go in the half. In the signals on second and three at the seven, stumbles as he drops to throw, rifles it back in the end zone. It is a touchdown to Derek Walker, the tight end. Michael Taylor just drilled that football under the goal post and Derek Walker hauled it in and the great comeback story of Derek Walker continues. The man who is such a great linebacking prospect and underwent reconstructive knee surgery and converted to tight end, made the grab in the back of the end zone for his first collegiate touchdown. And now Mike Gillette will attempt the extra point. This would make 65 in a row at his sixth of the ball game. 16 seconds to go in the half, 41 to nothing Michigan leads. Monty Robbins will hold. The snap is placed down, the kick is up and it is good. Michigan 42, Wisconsin nothing with 16 seconds to go in the half. Well, that's our scoreboard update from here. Now let's get one from Paul Chapman at our studios in Detroit. Back deep, along with Fred Owens, a line drive kick. Hits at the seven, bounces to Owens in the end zone. He juggles it. He wanted to run it out. Kissling said, get down, kid, get down, and Owens did. Freshman Tony Lowry at quarterback for Wisconsin. And they're just going to run the ball. The handoff going to Vinci, and Vinci coming off the right side is drilled at the 22 and goes down immediately right there in the arms of Bobby Abrams and Neil Simpson. And that'll be the final play of a devastating first-half performance by the Michigan Wolverines. They get a standing ovation as they head off the field at halftime, leading the Wisconsin Badgers by a score of 42 to nothing. And we'll be back with our halftime activities from here at the stadium. Bill Steggitz will be along to host our show when we come back after these words on the Michigan Football Network. Jamie now 174 yards in 16 carries, threatening to break his personal best of 210 against Ohio State last year. First down. And Brown fakes to Morris, drops to throw. He's looking right side, throws incomplete to Gerard Bunch. That was a poor throw. Completion here. Second and ten. He fakes the handoff to Bunch. Sets up the throw and fires to the near sideline. And it's batted down. Batted away from the intended receiver over there, Chris Callaway. McMurtry split left. Colazar to the right. The backs are split. Brown drops the throw. Standing in there. He's looking toward the far sideline. Fires it for Colazar. And Colazar reaches out. Fakes the catch, but he was out of bounds at the 27. Robbins, who shanked one for 25 yards on his first punt, will kick it away to Scott Bester. Here's the snap. No pressure. And Robbins hits this one poorly. It's low and short, and Bester runs up, makes a fair catch on the 21. A pure option quarterback, and he's running to his left, and he's going to keep it. Get to the 15. He is hit by Neil Simpson. Fumbles the ball. It's loose at the 10, and Michigan recovers at the 10-yard line. 
Tony Lowry took a terrific hit. And the Wolverines come up with a fumble recovery, and it was Mark Mester on the bottom of the pile who got the football. And the Wolverine defense does it again, Jim, and what a thrill that's got to be for the freshman linebacker, Neil Simpson. Two turnovers by Wisconsin. This one at the Badger nine-yard line. First and goal for Michigan. Demetrius Brown hands to Jamie Morris. Coming right, finds the hole stacked up, running to the short side of the field. He's all down on the eight formation for Morrison Bunch behind Demetrius Brown. Ball on the right hash mark. Wellborn coming in motion left and Brown turns, gives deep to Jamie Morris coming to his left. He's to the 10, looking for a block. Cuts inside of a good block by Callaway and is hauled out on the one by Dan Kisling. Chris Callaway just absolutely drilled the free safety Greg Thomas. Leveled him. Jamie cut inside of that block and nearly scored his fourth touchdown of the game. And Fritz Seifert who scored four touchdowns in a game for Michigan. Ron Johnson, the record holder with five against Wisconsin back in 1968. Everybody jammed in tight out of the wishbone. Brown going to run option right, keep it. And Demetrius Brown takes it in himself for his second touchdown of the game. And Michigan leads it by a score of 48 to nothing. Nothing fancy about it. They run the triple option, wishbone look. And again, Demetrius Brown reading that defensive end when he took the fake to bunch off the guard center gap, Demetrius Brown just pulled that ball back out and went around the right side, and there was nobody out there. Uh, poor job, really, by Wisconsin in, in defending against that wishbone look on the goal line. They've got nobody outside, and twice Brent has gone that way for touchdown. Andy Borowski, now recovered from that broken hand, is in as the deep snapper, and he sends it back to Robbins, who places it down. Gillette puts it up. And it's good. And Michigan now leads it 49 to nothing. 11.41 to go in the third quarter as we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. 18 touchdowns rushing as a high school senior. 10 passing and 2 receiving. Comes to his right and is hit on the option. Fumbles the ball again out there. But this time it looks like he got it back. Out on the sidelines today. Second and six. Wisconsin on the 43. And here's Lowry option right. And there is Neil Simpson again. <laughs> And the freshman out of Highland Park calls him down at the 41, a loss of two. Osmond in on the nose now. Manuel up front and back to throw is Lowry. Got some time down the middle, and the ball is caught. And the receiver goes up over the midfield, and that's going to be a first down as Wisconsin tossed the ball to Brian Anderson, his tight end. Shouldn't have caught that last pass. Tight end on the left. In motion right comes Scott Bester. Split out to the right, David Burks. Here's the option, the handoff to Vinci, and he's met in the hole by Carlitos Bostic and by Neil Simpson. And Ward Manuel also there. See, Lowry running option left, gives to Artley. He's hit in the hole, fights through, though. The tackle by Osmond and advances the ball down to the 45 or 44. He's been up there along with Manuel and Folkertsman. John Willingham replaces Bostic at outside linebacker. Third down, option right. Lowry fakes a toss, runs through an attempted tackle by Simpson. And then is hit by Doug Mallory down at the 40-yard line. Going to be close to a first down. Option run, and Lowry's going to get a first down. And Wisconsin will hold the ball as the freshman quarterback runs it inside the 30. And there he is again as Hartley got the handoff and ran into Simpson. A right tackle, and down he goes at the 24 after a gain of about two. Bill Williams, Jr. split to the left. Burks right. Here's the option look, and the toss gets away from Vincy. And Michigan is going to recover the ball. John Milligan came up with it. His second fumble recovery comes at the Michigan 28-yard line as Lowry panicked. He had some pressure. Jefferson and Gerard Bunch in the I formation behind him. Jeff Brown and Derek Walker, two tight ends in. Here comes Jefferson around the right, around the left, rather, over the 30. Puts his shoulder down into Greg Thomas, the safety. Here's in Blue Jays. 6.15 left here in the third quarter as Taylor runs the option to the left. Cuts it upfield, going to keep it instead of tossing to Jefferson. Hit by Lamar White on the corner at the 40, but that's a first down. Set Bunch and Jefferson out of the eye formation. Running behind Michael Taylor. One wide out. That's Callaway to the right, and he jumped too soon. Handoff goes to Jefferson up the middle, and he's drilled right in the hole with flags down on the play. 
is on a draw to Jefferson coming off the right side and he's got a seam to midfield hit from behind and he carries a tackler inside the 40 down to the Wisconsin 38 yard line oh and now he's gonna have to run under some pressure got room though inside the 30 down to the 25 the 24 yard line for a pickup of 14 minutes remaining in the third quarter the Wolverines leading 49 to nothing 491 yards in total offense for Michigan now. Wolverines first down at the 24. Handoff Jefferson coming left. Looks for some blockers. Gets some. Gets a couple great blocks. Breaks the tackle by Thomas and carries it all the way down to the 8-yard line. That's in goal again. You know, Greg, we've been talking a lot about Neil Simpson being an awful good-looking player. Well, I think Alan Jefferson's a player, too. Bo Schembechler talked at the top of the show. He'd like to see him show a little more strength. We know he's got the great speed. But I think he showed some strength there. He ran through two tackles and carried two players about four yards with him after he was hit. Keith Mitchell now at one tight end spot on the left side. Derek Walker on the other. Jefferson, Webb, and Bunch in the wishbone. Demetrius Brown running option left. His hit fumbles the football as he pulled it out of the belly of Gerard Bunch. And Wisconsin has recovered on the 11. So the Wolverines turn it over for the first time this afternoon. Set the secondary in a moment. Hartley and Ford in the backfield, and the handoff goes to Eric Ford, the sophomore out of De La Salle, straight up the middle, and he's met by Neil Simpson at the 14. He is now. He's in that backfield with the L train, Marvin Hartley. And here's option left, and Lowry going to keep it, and hit by Milligan, or rather by uh, Willingham from behind. Paul down, but Willingham might have gotten his face mask as he reached in and Grab the freshman quarterback right at the line of scrimmage. Before. Here's Lowry. Option to the left. Going to keep it. Get some blocking up the sideline. 40, 45. And then he is drilled at midfield and knocked out of bounds by Rick Hassel at the Michigan 49. I feel he's got yardage. Lowry's got 89 yards in 14 carries. He doesn't like what he sees from Michigan at the line of scrimmage. He calls timeout. Eight for the Badgers. They've got Ford and Hartley in the backfield. Three men split wide. Option left. Lowry going to keep it. Simpson's got him. Hauls him down on the 46 on every play. This is a freshman, a legitimate freshman. Saw some action last week. Fourth down. And Wisconsin will go for it. Lowry running with the ball. Cutting up the middle. Hit by Simpson and hauled down short of a first down at the 40. <laughs> Michigan takes over on downs as Neil Simpson makes four consecutive tackles and holds Wisconsin almost single-handedly. Just woke a few people up. I guess so. First down at the 41, option left, and Michael Taylor gives the ball to Gerard Bunch on the first option, and Bunch plows ahead to the 44, pick up of about three on the place. And we're getting wholesale changes up front as both starting offensive tackles, big John Elliott and Tom Doring come out of there. Wishbone formation now for Michael Taylor and the Wolverines. Tracy Williams in the backfield. And it's option right. And Taylor's going to keep it and going to be hauled down by Greg Thomas. Comes out as Michigan approaches the line of scrimmage. The end of the third quarter here in sunny Ann Arbor. Our score, Michigan 49. Wisconsin nothing. And we pause for these words now on the Michigan Football Network. 49 nothing. Michael Taylor back to throw. Running quarterback draw up the middle. First down inside the Wisconsin 45. Down to the 43-yard line. Taylor takes the ball to bunch. Drops the throw. Looking right sideline. Fires. And it's batted away by Kissling, the linebacker who took a deep drop and swatted it away before it got to McMurtry. Down in 10 at the Wisconsin 43. Bunch and Jefferson in the pro set. Draw play. Hand off to Bunch. He's in trouble. Runs into three Badgers. Spins away from them. Gets back to the 45-yard line. And then runs into three more Badgers. Led by Pete Noka. And is hauled down for a two-yard loss. And Taylor is back to throw. Four-man rush. But he's got plenty of time. Goes down the middle. The ball's tipped. Falls incomplete. Boy, he threw that into coverage. Victor Fortino is back there. Snap is a little slow getting back there. Some pressure. Robbins kicks it away. Hangs it high. Besters calls fair catch. Let's it hit. And it goes into the end zone for a touchback. Now I wonder what the average yard per play is. And I'm sure Marty will have that in a moment. Lowry running option left. And hands the ball off to his running back, Hartley. And he's not going far. Rick Ford in that backfield along with Fred Owens. A couple of Detroit products. And... He's going to run the option left. Otis is, and Flowers is going to be hauled down in the backfield for a loss. Simpson and Stites at inside backer. Flowers on third and 11. Runs the option right and hands the ball on an end around to Dennis Burks, and Burks is hemmed in at the 15, 
Gets up the sideline and runs out of bounds around the 20. There's also a flag down. Neil Simpson is the man who forced the play deep. And the penalty is against Wisconsin. Back deep, Trip Wellborn awaits the kick on his own 44. Snap a little high. Sapicki pulls it down. He'll kick it away. It's a low end over end boot. Hits at the 47. Goes straight up in the air. Bounces now back toward the Wisconsin goal line. And will be down by the Badgers at the 43. Only 22 yards on the punt by Sapicki. Still in a tight end on the left. Bob Cernak, the second tight end on the right. And a lot of gun epitome is the only wide out. Split right. Hand off. Allen Jefferson. Comes off right tackle. No running room there. He gets about a yard. Taylor back. Fakes to Jefferson. Rolls right to throw. Fires toward the sideline. The ball tipped the line. And Gerard Bunch very alertly picked it out of the air. Goes up the sideline to the 35. And he's bumped out of bounds. Michigan got seven yards on the play. Yeah, and Bunch was the really the checkoff receiver in the flat for Michael Taylor. And Michael Taylor was going to go downfield. The ball got tipped to his checkoff man. So it's third down and a yard to go at the 35 and out of the wishbone. The option right and the handoff to Bunch and the big pullback out of Ashtabula, Ohio powers his way for a first down to the 32. Here's Taylor on the option left. He breaks a tackle, pitches it very late out to Jefferson. The ball flies out of bounds at the 25 yard line. That was dangerous. He was being hit, Michael was, as he tossed the ball out there and to me, it looked like he flipped it forward, Jim. But Amazing. back to throw is Taylor. He flips it out in the screen on the left side, and Bunch dropped the ball. Jefferson split backfield. Taylor dropping the throw, standing in, throws this one. Stip intercepted down on the 20 by Noka. Noka back up field over the 30, 35, out to the 36-yard line. Well, Michael Taylor's had some trouble getting that ball over the linebacker's hands. He's had a lot of balls tipped today, and there was another one that was resulted in an interception. And the second turnover by the Wolverines today. The Detroit backfield again. The Eric Ford and Fred Owens behind him. They're split. He's going to run option right. And Flowers got some room. He keeps it. Cuts it upfield. He's hit once by Hassel. Breaks away from that tackle. And then he's hit by Bishop and hauled down on the 40-yard line. So he's out of the huddle. And the crowd starts cheering. Flowers hands the ball. The Fred Owens inside handoff. He's coming right on a misdirection play. He's got a first down over the 45 and out to the 48 before Bishop again made the tackle. Bill Williams is also set, and Flowers is going to run the option to the short side of the field right, and he's not going to gain much. Splits Callaway to the left. Gives on a draw to Jefferson. Coming up the middle, he is hit as he got to the 45, down to the 44 by Scott Johnson, the linebacker. Wellborn split to the right. Callaway left. The handoff Jefferson trying to sweep the right. Oh, as he stood up right at the 45-yard line. 14. Handoff Jefferson. He comes up the middle. His hit fumbles the ball. And Pete Noka dives on it for Wisconsin down on the 38. So. First and 10, Wisconsin on its 38. Counter play. The handoff goes to Fred Owens out of Bishop Borges. And he comes off the right side out to the 44 where Sean LaFontaine made the stop. And here's Flowers running option left and he ducks under Feaster's tackle. Cuts up field. Is hit by Manuel. Fumbles the ball and Michigan is recovered. So the Wolverines come up with their fifth turnover as Otis Flowers, the freshman quarterback out of Houston, was hit by Manuel. Hassel came up with it on the bottom of the pile. Michigan gets it back. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm laughing at. <laughs> I thought maybe it was the Wisconsin cheerleaders coming over to join the Michigan cheerleaders. No. They're kidnapping one of them. Handoff straight off the middle. Freddie Owens on a quick hitter. He's got running room inside the Michigan 45. First down to the 43 before Rick Hassel could make the stop. 6 0, 7 to go. Wisconsin first down on the Michigan 43. Otis Flowers, option right, tosses back to Owens. He says, I don't want this thing. <laughs> There's Simpson. There are Tim Williams. They chase him out of bounds right around the 45. Owens and Ford hands the ball to Owens coming up the middle and Ward Manuel has got him wrapped up and he had plenty of help from Joe Holland and here's the option again and Flowers going to keep it oh he had a big hole and stumbled as he cut up field off left tackle and fell at the 35. Here's have thrown only nine passes today. Flowers barking out signals to his two wideouts Burks and Williams. And he hands the ball off up the middle on the option. And T.J. Osmond took the ball carrier, Eric Ford, and shoved him back four yards. They'll mark his progress to the 35. 
and Michigan will take over there on down. What, what a hit. hit. What a hit. For on fourth down. Michael Taylor continuing at quarterback gives straight up the middle to Gerard Bunch. And he fights his way out to the 41. He got about five. We go motion right comes Ogun Fatidami. And Taylor hands the ball off the right side to Williams. He puts his shoulder down into two Badgers and bruises them back a couple of yards and gets a first down to the 47. High formation in the backfield. And the handoff again goes to Williams coming right. And he plows out to midfield. And Bob Cernak on the right. Backs in the eye. Williams behind Chris Horn. Here's a fake to Horn. Handoff to Williams. Coming right. And he's met right at the line by David Wings, the linebacker. Got a couple maybe to the 48 of Wisconsin. That'll be it. Doherty and Borowski are the guards. Cernak the tight end. Weil in at one tackle. Olszewski at the other. Taylor back to throw. In trouble. Tries to run it and he's going to be sacked. He might have to skip a play or two after this punt. To get some... Business taken care of. Here's the snap. No pressure from Wisconsin. And Robbins kicks it away, and he hits a dandy this time. Fester going back, calls fair catch. The ball hits on the five, goes into the end zone. 56 yards on the punt. Ball network. Idea a while ago, we didn't get to it. 15 seconds here, station identification on the Michigan Football Network. Ernie Bach out of Northville in that secondary now. Third down, five to go, and back to throw as Lowry fires it too high and too hard for David Burks, his wide receiver, incomplete. And it'll bring up fourth down and Wisconsin will punt with 56 seconds to go in the game. It's a picky to kick. For the seventh time today, here's the snap, no pressure. Scott Zepicki hits a line drive out of there. Wellborn racing over, lets it go. It hits at the 39. What Badgers hit it. I don't think the officials saw it. Bounces forward down to the 30. And now... The official comes rushing up to going to be marked right here on the 39 where they touch the ball. City since then. Michael Taylor at quarterback gives the ball to Tracy Williams. Coming right. Looks for a couple of blocks. Gets him. High steps it over. A fallen Badger. Fights out to the 44 and a flag is thrown. Please enjoy watching the films. want everybody to tune in and watch Michigan Replay Channel 7 tomorrow Sunday at 12.30. We'll watch the films with both. I always, I'll tell you this in a moment. Hand off Tracy <laughs> Williams going left. He finds a seam over midfield. And he is hit by Jeff Wagner, who's now at its safety. Hauled down at the Wisconsin 46. Recipes that come along with these things. <laughs> Here's Tracy Williams again coming right. He's down to the 40, down to the 39-yard line. He got seven more yards, hit by Mike Brecky. And that should be the final play of the game. The crowd chanting it down to six seconds and five. And the team's already headed off the field and into the tunnels, and this ball game is all over. The Michigan Wolverines have absolutely destroyed the Wisconsin Badgers in the Big Ten opener by a score of 49 to nothing this afternoon. Plenty to recap about today's game, and right now we've got to send a message out to our network stations. We have three commercials we didn't get in this quarter. We're going to leave you with two extras. We'll take a two-minute break right here. Tell you again, our final score, Michigan 49, Wisconsin nothing. And we'll be back right after this two-minute break on the Michigan Football Network. All right, well, you can't... Howard out there, Frank. Callaway, apparently, that ankle must be uh, must be injured. Well, we thought perhaps Desmond wouldn't see as much time, but Callaway not getting the start. Desmond Howard split to the right. Greg McMurtry left. Ford and Bowles in the backfield, and Wisconsin's four men down up front against Michigan. Handoff Bowles goes off the right side and is met as he got to the 24-yard line by the defensive tackle, Leon Johnson. Little he wanted them to take the win. Second down and six at the 24. Gerback giving on the draw play to Bowles. Hemmed in in the backfield. Breaks the tackle. Up over the 25 with a burst over the 30. He is hit. Goes down at the 35. Fumbles the ball. But after the play, and a flag is thrown as well. If the play stands, it's an 11-yard gain at a first down. But this may be holding against the Wolverines. Greg Thomas came up from free safety to make the tackle for the Badgers. 
Let's set that Wisconsin defense for you while they sort out the penalty for us. John Banizak is the nose man, goes 268. Gerbach to throw on second and 15. Screen right to Bowles, got it on the eight. Upfield he comes. Oh, they missed two blocks, and Bowles is drilled right at the 15-yard line. Alexander split out to the right now. That's the freshman, Derek Alexander. To the left, McMurtry, and back goes Gerbach. Flips it to Bowles on the right side. He's got it over the 20. Hit immediately by Eddie Fletcher and then by Greg Thomas. He'll be hauled down at the 24, well short of a first down, and Michigan will be forced to punt on its first possession, which was stopped because of that clipping penalty. That for only two yards. Stapleton standing on the nine, awaiting the snap. He gets it. No pressure. Kicks it away into the wind and hangs it high, hits it well. Vincent back to his 33. Looks up, sees Steve Everett, makes a move around him, gets up only to about the 38 or 39 yard line on just the second return of a Michigan punt this season. The only setback is Jimmy Henderson. In motion left, Aaron Brown. A handoff to Henderson going to his left, gets outside over the 40, 45. Finally, Brent White hit him from behind, hauled him down with help from David Key, but that's a gain of about eight yards to the 47. Hunt back there with Henderson. Hunt gets the call. He fights straight ahead, and it looks like he's got a first down. He ran into Chris Hutchinson at the Wisconsin 49. He stopped there, but that's exactly where they've got to go for the first down. They spot the ball a little short of the 49. Five, single setback, two tight ends. Handoff Henderson, sweep on the left, got room up the sideline. Veda Murray finally chases him out in Michigan territory around the 47, gain of four. And now three wide receivers and one setback in Henderson, a fake to him. Sean Wilson throws, scrambling to his right. Now on the run, throws over the middle, broken up on a good play by J.J. Grant. Two receivers converging in the center of the field on the football. One was Tony Spaeth, and the other was Tim Ware, and... J.J. Grant got in between the both of them. Wisconsin hurrying to the line now with that clock winding down to three seconds, two seconds, one second. They just get the play off. Wilson drops to throw. Flags are down. He shovels the ball forward to his fullback, Henderson, and he's going to be tackled right around midfield for a loss. Now let's see what the penalty was all about. I'm going to speculate that it was an illegal off uh, formation, Frank. I don't think they had a no procedure. A legal procedure. I'm sure Michigan will decline it because the play went for a four-yard loss. Because of the injury, Michigan is able to do that. Now Brad Brecky will kick it away. Kicking with the wind. Gets the snap. Some pressure, but he hangs one high toward the far side of the field. It's short. Hits around the 20. Bounces up in the air. Wellborn can do nothing but watch. Now it takes a Wisconsin bounce inside the 15 and down to the, about the 11-yard line. Veda Murray nearly got through to block the kick. But Brecky got it away, and it winds up going 39 yards. And Michigan has been deep on its own 11-yard line for its second possession of the game. Here comes Howard in motion that way now. And Gerbach gives on a little delay to Bowles. He stutters stepping up the middle, gets up to about the 14. Game three. Malvin Hunter, the inside linebacker, who is averaging 13 tackles a game, made the stop for the Badgers. Alexander's foot wide side to the left on second and seven from the 14. McMurtry to the right coming in motion. Backs in the eye. Here's a fake to Bowles. Gerr back to throw. He's lofting it up near side. Derek Alexander makes the catch at the 30-yard line. And then he's ridden out of bounds at the 31 or 32 by Lamar White. But that will be a first down. A good throw by Gerback. A gain of about 17 yards on the pass to Derek Alexander. And the freshman out of Detroit, Benedictine, has his second collegiate catch. 31 backs in the eye now and Gerbach straight back to throw gives on a draw to Bowles he's slowed up in the backfield fights through one tackle and finally Malvin Hunter meets him around the 32 or 33 and shoves him back Howard and McMurtry both split to the right now Bowles going in motion to the left and Gerbach drops to throw on second and eight getting a blitz throws right side just got it away complete to McMurtry he tries to make some moves over there on Raphael Robinson and Eddie Fletcher he's bumped out of bounds very close to a first down at the 41 it is a first down for Greg McMurtry and the Wolverines so McMurtry coming off his first collegiate 100 yard game last week against Maryland hauls in that Gerbach throw that is Greg's first catch of the game and Elvis is four out of four now 33 yards Michigan at the line of scrimmage takes too much time now they just didn't get the play in in time at their own 41 three left 
First and 15, a fake to Bowles. Gerback dropping the throw. Swings it out in the flat to McMurtry. Got it. Makes a move inside at the 40. He is hit by Raphael Robinson and hauled down right there at the 41. So he got the penalty yardage back to the 41. It'll be second down and 10. Time the offense, second down and 10. Big blitz coming. Hand off. Hort up the middle, and he's tackled by Greg Thomas, the free safety, after a gain of about three. That was very close to a big play for the Wolverines as Wisconsin was coming with two defenders on the blitz, including Thomas, the free safety, who filled that hole and just did tackle Leroy Hort. And seven, and they've got eight men at the line of scrimmage. Back goes Gerback. Big blitz. Michigan picks it up. The throw behind Howard incomplete. Gerback just got rid of it as he was hit by Don Davey, but Wisconsin rushed seven men that time. And the free safety. Fourth down coming up. Michigan will have to put it away. Howard turned around for the throw. Gerback had to fire it out there before he made any move and Howard just couldn't reach out to the left and come up with the ball. As good a kick, hangs it high. Vincent comes up, makes the grab on the run and is hit immediately at the 25 yard line. Very dangerous decision by Troy Vincent. He probably should have called for a pick call straight up the middle. Quick hitter and he fights out over the 35. First down to the 36. Here's Wilson rolling to his right to throw. Getting some pressure from Osmond. Firing on the run incomplete. Over the head of Aaron Brown, the intended receiver around midfield. Second and ten. The handoff to Jimmy Henderson trying to sweep the right. Hemmed in. Alex Marshall did a great job fighting off the block of the tight end, Kerry Miller. And that allowed Tripp Wellborn to come up and make the hit for a loss of a yard to the 35. That was a yardage. Well, they mark his progress ahead to the 37 for a one-yard gain instead of a loss. So it'll be third and nine at the 37. Wilson rolling left to throw. Being rushed now, getting pressure on 25, and he is sacked back there by Alex Marshall. Great play by Marshall to get through, but gives some credit as well up front to T.J. Osmond, who is running that loop. He started at middle guard, circled around over the offensive tackle, and he's the one who flushed Wilson right into the blitzing Alex Marshall. Snap, pressure coming. Oh, it's almost blocked again. The kick is away short. Hits at the 40. Wellborn comes up, grabs it on a hop at the 31. He's hit. Tries to pull a tackler forward. Does over the 35 to the 37-yard line. Hunter out onto the field quickly. Michigan on offense at the 37. Handoff Ford. Leroy's first carry is a sweep to the right. Turns the corner over the 40. Is hit. The ball goes flying upfield and out of bounds at midfield. But they will mark it back under the new rule at the spot where he fumbled which is the Michigan 46-yard line. The hit made by Raphael Robinson. Just checks in at wide receiver. Two tight ends. Hoard the only setback. Gets the call straight up the middle. Fights up to midfield. Gang tackled there. Malvin Hunter, Greg Thomas, Brendan Lynch. No score in the ball game. Wisconsin's playing some real tough defense. I don't... Ball on the right. Hash mark at the Michigan 49. McMurtry split out to the right. Desmond Howard left. Backs in the eye. Bowles and Hoard. Tight end Derek Walker on the left. Gerback goes back, is on a draw. The Bulls cutting up field. He's into Wisconsin territory. He's hit by the safety Greg Thomas again and hauled down at the Badgers 44. Train the handoff to Horn. He's hit. Fumbles the football, and the Badgers have got it. Down at the bottom of the pile, the monster man, Raphael Robinson. Leroy Horde fumbles it away again, and the Wolverines have that promising drive end in a hurry. Well, Leroy got away with one fumble earlier when it went out of bounds. And this one was recovered by the Badgers. And it's an option look and a fumble, and Wilson got it back. Wilson put it right on the hip of his fullback, Leon Hunt. Teeter couldn't get there before the little quarterback, and Sean Wilson fell on it. It'll be a loss of about a yard to the 42, but the Badgers keep possession. Evanson's out of there. Evans is in. Option look, rolling to the right. The pass from Wilson complete up over midfield to Fred Owens. He is hit by Todd Plate on that wide side corner and hauled down around the Michigan 46. Looks like it's going to be a first down. Backs are split, and it's the option look, and Wilson's going to keep it this time and cut up field, and he's all the way down to the Michigan 40-yard line. He's Wisconsin's leading rusher. Handoff straight up the middle to Henderson. He's met in the middle of the line at the 40 by Eric Anderson. Go at the 38. Backs are split. Henderson and Hunt. And it's the option look right. Wilson's going to throw. He's hitting the backfield. Gets away from Abram. Scrambling at midfield. Throws up the sideline. It is caught inside the 30-yard line by Tim Ware. And that will be a first down. There is also a flag on the play. So hold on a minute. I don't know how he survived the hit by Bobby Abrams, who looked like he had his 
fourth sack in two weeks. It's an ineligible man downfield for the Badgers. Big break for the Wolverines. 23 left first quarter. No score. Wisconsin with third and seven at the Michigan 43. Go with a single setback. Two tight ends. Wilson sprinting right to throw. Pumps once. Now throwing as Teeter hits him up the sideline for where? He leaps up. Out of bounds. Incomplete. He couldn't hold it anyways. He was double covered by Key and Murray. And Wisconsin will be forced to punt it away. The snap. Here comes Veda Murray and Wallace. He gets it away. A low kick. And Wellborn goes back to his six to return it. He eludes one man. Fights up field. Gets away from another, but at the 15, he is hammered by three or four Badgers. Boy, he ran right into the back of one of his own blockers. Looked like, uh, was it Mark Spencer? Sorry for that. Uh, it was um, not Mark Spencer. I'll get it for you. It's Neil Simpson. Was almost in the eye. They're shifted slightly, and you got Bernie Leggett in it fullback in front of Bowles now, and Bowles gets a handoff coming left from the 17. John Banizak, the nose man, is in there and knocks him off his pegs right there at the line of scrimmage. And on its own 17. McMurtry split left. Derek Alexander right. Handoff Leggett sweeping right. Leon Johnson shoots by Doring into the backfield. Has him for a five-yard loss on the 12. Here at Michigan Stadium. And the Badgers have already won a victory of sorts. They have really fought their way into controlling this football game, at least from a momentum stand. Has it at midfield. He is hit from behind by Troy Vincent. But he is into Wisconsin territory. Big play there. A gain of 45 yards. And Michigan gets out of a hole in a hurry. Big play offense they've, re they've relied on. Wisconsin brought the strong safety that time. But it wasn't a blitz in that they replaced him with the outside linebacker to the field. But what happened was is McMurtry was running down the sideline. The defender was pursuing him. McMurtry ha had vision back on the ball, was able to gather and jump and utilize that side to make a big play. He was not wide open. It was a great play by McMurtry. First down, Michigan in Wisconsin territory. Hand off Bowles out of the eye. Bowles will lose one man in the backfield. That's Troy Johnson. But then as he stumbles forward, he's met by Eddie Fletcher at the 41 and gains just two of the, of the first period. Ford hasn't returned since. Big blitz coming. Michigan picks it up. Gerback throws incomplete. He threw it behind Dan Jokish inside the 30-yard line. Wisconsin 41. Three wide receivers now. One setback. That's Leggett. Michigan just got the playoff. Gerback to throw under pressure from Connect. Down the middle. Oh, it's almost intercepted. Raphael Robinson had it in his hands at the 25 and couldn't hold it. Now well, Leon Johnson got into that backfield in a hurry to pressure Gerback. And Michigan faces fourth down at the Badgers 41 and will have to punt. Unable to take advantage of the big pass play. Now Stapleton will punt to Troy Vincent. Wisconsin is backing off the line of scrimmage. They're not even going to rush this kick. Stapleton hangs it high toward the near sideline. It hits inside the 10. And Veda Murray bats it back. And they down it at the one-yard line. What a job by Veda Murray again. This kid has come up with some tremendous plays this year. Tight end look. Split backs. Option right. Wilson going to keep it. And he's just trying to get away from the goal line. Gets up to about the three. John Milligan, who's in for the injured J.J. Grant. They are. We'll call it second and seven from the four. Two tight ends. One setback. That's Leon Hunt. A fake to him. Wilson rolling right to throw in the end zone. Chased by Hutchins and just gets rid of it incomplete up the right sideline. Back on their four-yard line right now. Here's the handoff to Leon Hunt, running to his right, up to the 5, up to the 10. He's got a first down to the 13. Trip Wellborn made the tackle. Big play for the Badgers. Big play. Big play. The Michigan defense almost came up with a safety. All of a sudden, they let him out. Two tight ends in the ball game. Craig Hudson on the left, Miller on the right. Option look. Wilson going to keep it. Hit by Alex Marshall as he cuts up field and falls forward to the 17. He's been Wisconsin's leading rusher in just a game and a half, 129 yards. Option look to the right. He's going to keep it. Oh, is he hit on the 15? Tosses the ball back at the last moment to Henderson, and he's drilled as well by John Milligan. But what a hit was put on the quarterback, Sean Wilson, just as he was flipping the ball away. And I believe it was Mike Evans who met him. Nine for Wisconsin from its own 14. And here's Wilson dropping to throw. 
safety blitz. They pick it up. Pass to the near side. Intercepted by Dotton. Up the sideline. 20, 15, 10, 5. It's a touchdown. Lance Dotton picks it off as Wilson threw under the heavy blitz from Trip Wellborn. And Michigan gets a touchdown out of that wide side corner position, which has been picked on so much through the first three weeks of the season. And it was caused by a heavy blitz. Heavy pressure on the quarterback. He threw a bad pass that flo floated. Dotton made a great play to run it in. Good for you, Lance. Lance Dotton, Ramil Robinson's cousin, gets his first interception. The Wolverines go on top by a score of six to nothing. That touchdown, another Buddy's Pizza touchdown. Jack Berkey of Huntington Woods will get a Buddy's gift certificate. He made that lucky entry at the Buddy's Pizza in Detroit. If you want to be a Buddy's touchdown buddy, fill out an entry blank at any of your Metro Detroit Buddy's Pizza locations. Extra point by Carlson's good. 11.08 to go in the first half. It's Michigan 7, Wisconsin nothing. And we pause for these words on the Michigan football. WJR. J.D. Carlson's kickoff. He hits it deep. Owens will return it from the two. Up the right side, 10, 15, out to the 20. He's chopped down around the 23-yard line. And left comes Owens. It's a running play, though, and the handoff goes to Robert Williams. Off left guard, and he fights over the 25. Milligan hits him, hauls him down on the 26. And it's the option look. Freeman gets the handoff going right up to the 30. Alex Marshall wrestles him down around the 30-yard line in there. Third and three. Back goes Wilson. He wants to run. He takes off. He's going to get the first down. He's hit as he got up to about the 35 by Eric Anderson. Both of them play. First down. Draw play. Hand off. Williams trying to get outside to the right now and Abrams chases him out of bounds around the 37. He played in the same backcourt with his cousin Ramil Robinson and that's all Patrick Ewing school. Back goes Wilson to throw. He eludes Hutchinson on a big rush. Throws out in the flat. It's almost intercepted by Marshall. He went up in front of the tight end Hudson. Juggled it in the air with one hand and couldn't come down with it, or he might have taken it back. Third and nine ball on the 37. There's a fake to Williams. Blitz coming. Wilson back. He's going to be sacked inside the 35-yard line. We get a late flag. Hutchinson wrapped him up after Alex Marshall came on the blitz. Well, let's see if Michigan can get pressure on the punter, Brad Brecky again. He's kicking into the wind. He has not been hitting the ball very far. Here's the snap. And Veda Murray almost got there. A low kick short. And Wellborn makes a fast, fair catch signal and fields the ball on the 37 in Michigan territory. As the Michigan cheerleaders have captured Bucky the Badger. 8.57 to go in the first half. Michigan leads Wisconsin 7 to nothing. Gerback brings his team to the line at the 37. Gives the ball to Bulls off the right side. He fights forward. He'll get a couple, maybe three up to the 40-yard line. And that is it. Raphael Robinson there to make the stop. They really, they got what they got blown up by Miami in the first game, but but they've played well in the last two games. Of course, the opponents haven't been the same as Miami or the caliber of a Michigan, but they've played well. They beat Toledo and then lost to California, and they dominated that game statistically. Wisconsin showing eight men near the line of scrimmage. Back goes Gerback. Double pumps, throws in the flat, almost intercepted. Boy, he put it right in the hands of Kurt Maternowski, the outside linebacker, who was just sitting there in front of Derek Walker. Bad throw. Howard split to the left, McMurtry right, four-man rush, Gerback dropping to throw, steps up in the pocket, delivers down the middle, intercepted by Thomas. He's back to midfield, running to his right, hit by Leggett, hauled down at the Michigan 47. Elvis Gerback threw it right to Greg Thomas, the free safety that time. And he was just lurking out there in center field. I think he read man coverage there. What, what's happening is Wisconsin is, is walking the linebackers and the strong safety in and out and threatening blitz, or at least showing blitz before the uh, snap of the ball. And I think Elvis read blitz there. McMurtry ran his own route, as he should have, when they backed out of it, and ran a curl pattern, and I think Elvis anticipated him breaking across the ball. Out to the right where, and here's a handoff off the left side. Robert Williams bursting through down to the 40-yard line. Backs are split, as they usually are. Tight end Miller's on the left. Here's the straight ahead handoff to Williams. Nothing going. He bounces outside right. Chased by Wellborn at the 40. Grabbed by the shoulder pads. Hauled down at the 39. Trip. He can really wrap the arms. Third and two handoff. Henderson up the middle. Met by Milligan. Breaks the tackle. Down inside the 35. Inside the 30. And finally, Beta Murray hauled him down at the 28. Gain of 11. First down. They should have had him right at the line. I think Michigan in the lead. Handoff Henderson up the middle. And this time, they do have him for no gain. Down at the bottom of the pile, Chris Hutchinson to make the stop. 
And now we're going to get a timeout by Wisconsin. Timeout on the field, 5.50 left in the half. 7-0 Michigan leads it. We pause for these words on the Michigan. What is tackler he is. Mark Mangum will hold for Rich Thompson, 36-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Miller's snap is placed down. Kick on its way. Long enough, high enough, but it is going to be wide to the right and no good. So Thompson misses from 36 yards away. And Michigan remains on top by a score of 7 to nothing, with 4-17 remaining here in the first half. In motion left, misdirection play handoff. Bowles going right, tripped up, coming through the hole by Raphael Robinson, and then finished off by Daniel Powell, who has checked in that defensive front. Gain of about three for Kodak. Is on a draw to Bowles. Big holes going left. And now he cuts back into traffic, gets up to the 26 or 27. Now, Murtry and Howard both split right. Tight end Derek Walker on the left. Leggett and Bowles in the eye. Bowles now in motion to the short side of the field left. Four-man rush. Gerback drops the throw. Has time. Dumps it short to Leggett. Got it up over the 30. First down. He falls forward to the 33. Hit by Raphael Robinson, the monster man for the Badgers. Side right. Gerback drops back. Is on a draw to Bowles. Hesitating running left. Flags down. And Bowles is drilled after a gain of one or two. Don Davey, the defensive end, stood him up. Defenders are playing. Walkoff takes it to the 23. First down and 20 from there. Gerback drops to throw. Has plenty of time. Now running out of there. Hit from behind as he runs upfield. And hauled down by Kurt Maternowski at the 22. He'll lose a yard on the play. Actually second and 21 from back on the 22. Wisconsin doing a lot of jumping around up front. They're showing blitz. But they don't blitz. That's a handoff up the middle to Bowles on a draw. And he tumbles forward to about the 25. At halftime, Bill Stegeth is back. We'll tell you more in just a moment about Bill. Gerback drops the throw on third and 16. Got plenty of time going down the middle. McMurtry with a good catch going down for the ball at the 47. Oh, Greg Thomas, the free safety cut in front, almost picked it off. But McMurtry went low to make the grab for a gain of about 21. Flag. And now there is a flag back up the old hold on the penalties against Michigan. Could have been ineligible there, Frank, on a, on a second and 20. I just can't can't figure it out uh, on a pass who would be downfield. Gerback back to throw on the final play of the half. He might as well heave it deep, and he does for Desmond Howard. He goes up, juggles, can't hold on. Incomplete at the Badgers 40. And that is it, the end of the first half with our score, Michigan 7, Wisconsin nothing. We'll be back with our halftime show. After we pause for these words on the Michigan football. Back deep, Fred Owens and Robert Williams. And the ball falls off the tee just as Carlson went to kick it. Remarkable self-control. He didn't put a foot to it. Everybody else was downfield. <laughs> Frank, I don't believe I've ever <laughs> seen that. That was an amazing sight. Yeah, it looked like uh, for a moment there, he was going to whiff on that forward shot. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have Bill Steggett back with us. We always enjoy his halftime guests, and great to see him back in action and healthy. Carlson's kick, a floater. It's grabbed by one of the upmen around the 20-yard line, juggled first. He gets back to about the 25. The man with the ball is Leon Hunt. He's starting running back, and he is tackled at the 26-yard line. Rusty Fickner, the man who hit him. Hunt and Henderson in the backfield. In motion left comes the wide receiver, Owens. Ware split to the right. Option look, handoff to the left. It is Hunt spun around once, tries to keep his balance, hit by Alex Marshall, stopped right at the line, and there is a flag down on the play. Second down and 10, Badgers. It's a straight dive play up the middle, and Henderson breaks a tackle by Eric Anderson. He's up over the 30. Veda Murray hauls him down at the 32, a gain of six. Out and four, and Wilson's going to keep it. He's going to be drilled for a loss by Chris Hutchinson on the 29. Good play by Hutchinson, fighting off the blocks to get in there. And now Wisconsin will be forced to punt on its first possession of the third quarter. Brad Brecky out to kick it away. We'll see if Michigan goes after him again. Brecky standing on his 14. Gets a little low snap. Pressure from Bush. He kicks it away. A short one end over end. Hits just over midfield. Michigan lets it hop. It goes straight in the air. It'll be down at the Michigan 49-yard line. The kick good for only 22 yards. They're running again here. Sweep right Leggett. Cuts upfield, puts his shoulder down into Malvin Hunter, and he's into Wisconsin territory. A gain of five to the 46, and lo and behold, look who threw a block in the backfield. Tony Bowles. 
play. Bowles coming to the right, turns it upfield, down to the 40, tries to put a move down, now puts a shoulder into Greg Thomas and fights forward to the 33-yard line. 13 yards for Tony Bowles, first down for the Wolverines. Leroy Horde in for the first time since fumbling back in the first quarter. Howard split left. Derek Alexander, the freshman to the right. You can hear Gerback barking the signals, hands to Horde. Big hole on the left side. Leroy down to the 25. He gained eight. And really cradled that football with both arms. Down two to go. Backs are split. Handoff. Horde coming off the left side. He fights down forward near the first down. But he won't get it. He stopped at the 24. A yard short by Raphael Robinson. And the handoff goes to Allen. Coming around the right. Puts the shoulder down. First down to the 21-yard line. Allen Jefferson, who got 68 yards last week against Maryland, gets the call in that key third down short yardage situation. He gains about three, and Michigan has a first down at the Badger 21, leading 7 to nothing with 10.55 to play in the third quarter. Howard is split to the short side right, and the handoff Jefferson, big hole on the right side, Allen to the 15, Allen down to the 10-yard line. Running hard behind Horde and Bowles. And out in front of the play, Joe Cocozo, the guard. And the Wolverines get another first down, a gain of 10 for Jefferson, officially to the 11-yard line. Leader, Radio 76, WJ11. Allen Jefferson's giving him a boost, but he's out of there now. Out of the wishbone handoff, Horde trying to turn cur the corner around the right side, chased out of bounds by Eddie Fletcher. But it was Brendan Lynch, the inside linebacker, who made penetration and who forced Leroy deep into the backfield. He gains a couple. Again, Horde is out of there. Jefferson's in along with Bowles and Leggett. And the handoff Jefferson coming off the right side follows a block by Walker and gets down to the five-yard line. A go with splitbacks this time. Leggett and Horde. Howard in motion to the left. McMurtry split that way. Gerbach's going to throw on third down. Fires in, so touchdown, Derek Walker. Just over the goal line. Walker curled inside. Made the catch in front of the linebacker, Malvin Hunter, and the Wolverines lead it 13 to nothing with 9.33 to go in the third quarter. Nice job by Elvis. He merely just ran the tight end. He leaned into a linebacker and broke inside, and Elvis threw a nice pass for a touchdown to Walker, who's an effective receiver down there when you get down towards the goal line. Bo told me he wasn't going to throw on third down near the goal line when he <laughs> run it, Frank. I listened to him, you know, when he talks to Just me. Just last week, he threw down there on a third down, had the interception run back the other way. But on third down this week, he gets the TD, the third for Walker this year. Extra point kicked by Carlson is good. And Michigan now leads it 14 to nothing with 9.33 left in the third quarter. We pause for these words on the Michigan foot. In the Wisconsin end zone right now, and we've got about a 10 to 15 mile per hour win now down here. Just to update you, by the way, J.J. Grant still experiencing the back spasm. They're going to try to get him in. And uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Chris Calloway still nursing that left ankle problem that he injured two weeks ago. Here's the kick with Dotton holding the ball on the tee. It's a deep one. Owens two yards deep in the end zone coming out to the 10. Cuts to his left at the 15. Down he goes at the 17-yard line. Good coverage by the Wolverines. It was Corwin Brown who got down there and made the stop. Ball on the right hash. Wilson has one setback. Jimmy Henderson, he gets the call. Sweeping left. Marshall fights off a block. Gets out there. Sets him up for Wellborn. He'll gain a yard or so, and that's it. Good play by Michigan's defense again. Split right. It's a draw play. Henderson up the middle, and Eric Anderson just got him and held him down by the ankle at the 20. Defense can dictate uh, to the offense and, and play pass and predict pass here. Well, and also where the defense can really help shift momentum completely in Michigan's favor if they can stop him. Back goes Wilson. Blitz coming. He throws incomplete. Down the middle. He intended the ball on a little slant for his wide receiver Tony Spaeth, but he was covered by Mark Spencer and the big linebacker at 6'5", 243, who does such a good job in pass coverage. Helps force Wisconsin to put it away. Almost got it, and no flag. They ran into him, no flag. Wellborn makes a fair catch. He's barely tapped by a Badger at the 49, and a flag is thrown there. Oh, boy, Michigan got both ends of those calls. Back with that wind at his back. Turns, gives the ball to Bowles off the right side, finds the seam, cuts back to the middle, 40, 35. He's in the open, 20, 15. Chase from behind, but he'll never catch him. Troy Vincent cannot catch up to Tony Bowles. He goes 45 yards for a touchdown. And Michigan leads it by a score of 20 to nothing. Tony Bowles, who had the big game against the Badgers a year ago,
with 179 yards in the Big Ten opener at Wisconsin, including that touchdown on the first play of the game of 55 yards. Later on, an 81-yard run picks on the Badgers again, going 45 yards on that first, and the Wolverines are firmly in command. Now it's 20 to nothing. Wisconsin blitzed eight men that time. Tony merely broke the line of scrimmage, and there was no one in the secondary. And with that speed, no one's going to get him. Wisconsin jumps offside on the extra point attempt. Whistles blow. Carlson puts it up and through, but it doesn't count. And uh, the Badgers will be penalized. Fifty-one yard drive in nine plays after a short punt. Then a forty-five yard drive in one burst by Tony Bowles after the latest short punt. Extra point attempt by Carlson is good. Michigan 21, Wisconsin nothing. 7.39 left in the third quarter. We pause for these words on the Michigan play. And it's the option look. Wilson going to keep it. Cut up field. Hit by Eric Anderson. Fights forward for a couple, maybe three. The ball to Jimmy Henderson. Sweep and right. Marshall's out there with him. He spins him around, and Henderson falls forward for a one-yard gain to the 24, and Marshall's kicking himself. Otis Williams in as an extra defensive back. The running option football. Toss back to Henderson. Coming around the left. He's up near the 30. Is hit by Wellborn. Fumbles. The ball bounces out of bounds into the Michigan bench. Now, where did he fumble the ball? It went out of bounds on the 31. They really fumbled on the 29, short of a first down. Getting back on his 35. Here's the snap. No pressure. Brecky gets it off the side of his foot. Another short one. Hits at the 48. Takes a big Wisconsin bounce. Inside the 40, 35. Inside the 30, and it'll be down at the 29. And Wellborn starts coming to the sideline, waving to the coaches. I think he's saying, that's my fault. I should have been to field that ball on a hop. First downs in all. Backs in a power right. Jefferson in there with Horde. There's a fake to Horde. And Gerback drops to throw. Swings it out right side. Howard has to go low. Makes the catch at the 35 while tumbling to the turf. It'll be a gain of six. Could have been more if Gerback had put that ball up where Howard could have caught it on the run. At Ash McMurtry split right. Backs in the eye. Draw play. Jefferson up the middle. Tripped up. Coming through the line. It was Leon Johnson, the left end, who got a hand out and tripped up Allen right at the 35. Ford and Jefferson in the eye. And it's a draw play. Jefferson coming up the middle. He is hit and hauled down at the 39. It was Malvin Hunter. And Leon Johnson, who closed it up, and Hunter was just holding on for dear life as Jefferson dragged him forward. You're good, Frank. You're good, but I don't know. I think he's a little bit short. How's that? Warren Pierce, you're probably stuck behind the bench. I'm getting close, but I've got a bad angle here as the officials bring out the yard markers. Let's They're going to put it they'll let you walk right out on the field. All right, let me walk out here. <laughs> see what's an inch short, Frank. All right. The crowd was chanting, and I think Bo had already made up his mind. Fourth down, an inch to go with a 21-0 lead. Ball on the Michigan 39-yard line. 4-29 left here in the third quarter. I don't think they... Wisconsin has 12 men on the field. Now they get the player off. Now they're down to 11. Michigan goes with a wishbone. They give the ball to Horde coming straight ahead. He plows up over the 40-yard line. It's a first down. He was hit in there by Dewar Sharp, who has checked in at one of the linebacking spots. They won to nothing. Alexander split right. Howard left. Gerback gives on a delay. Here comes Jefferson up the middle. Finds his way plug. Keeps driving those legs forward. Has about five out to the 45. Malvin Hunter makes the tackle. They just go with four up there. Doesn't look like a blitz here on second and five. It's not. It's another draw play. And Jefferson is drilled by Hunter and by Brendan Lynch. He's trying to fight away, and he just takes more punishment as Raphael Robinson hits him. Loss of a couple back to the 43 up to the left. And then Walker's on a wing left. Gerback drops the throw. Good protection. Now he throws short. Caught by Jefferson under the coverage. He fights up over midfield. He has got a first down. Brendan Lynch came over to make the tackle with help from Tim Connect. Directly behind the quarterback, Gerback. Ball on the right hash. Here's a fake to Hort. Gerback rolling left to throw. In some trouble back there. Spins away from one man. Now spins away from another. Oh, almost. He was back on the 39 at the last moment by Don Davis. Well, he got away from the first wave in there. Daniel Howell got through, and Gerback spun away, but not from Davis. Gerback today, but it's a big one. 12 yards. Second and 22 on the Michigan 39. Gerback to throw. Has time. Late pressure from Davey. He steps away from him. Chased from behind now. He's going to be sacked again. Tim Connect got him back on the 35. Four-yard loss there. Gerback is sacked on two consecutive plays. Johnson's got nine men up at the line. Now they drop the free safety Greg Thomas off. A couple more men off. And they'll rush four. Gerback drops to throw. 
He's firing it up, left side. Desmond Howard goes up, makes the catch. He was out of bounds, though. Oh, boy, that was close. He was shoved as he went up in the air by Lamar White, the cornerback. But the officials ruled he could not have come down inbounds anyways. And it's fourth down. Chris Stapleton to punt. Troy Vincent back deep. 21-0 Michigan, 22 seconds to go in the third period. Everett snap, a good one, no pressure. Stapleton hangs it high toward the far side. The ball will hit inside the 25, go out of bounds inside the 20 at the 17. Back Jimmy Henderson, he's in motion right. No backs with Wilson. He drops the throw, standing in the pocket, over the middle to Lionel Crawford. He's got it, he's upended by Abrams, goes airborne, and lands around the 23 or 24. One, Wisconsin nothing, and we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. WJR. And Wilson's going to run option left, going to keep it. Got up field. He's got a first down out near the 29-yard line. Jimmy Henderson. Wilson straight back to throw. Blitz coming. He screens it out on the left side. Henderson's got it. T.J. Osmond peeling out there. Good play from nose tackle. Wrestles him down right around the line of scrimmage. Wilson with no setbacks, drops the throw. Wellborn safety blitz, sack back inside the 25. Wellborn in there like a shot, and Sean Wilson never even had time to set up. He's dropped for a 10-yard loss. Very well disguised by Wellborn. He walked in after the motion, an empty set. Of course, when there's no backs, you can suspect that they're not going to run the ball. And uh, the safety came over to play man-to-man -man on the three wideouts, and Wellborn came free. A nice job trapping him. Brecky gets the snap. Pressure coming. He got it away. And this is a good kick. Wellborn goes back, back, grabs it on his 25, turns to his left, now spins back, fumbles at the 20, and Wisconsin nearly had it, and the Badgers knocked it out of bounds. Oh, boy, they should have had that football. Michigan with a big break as Wellborn fumbled the punt. But the Wolverines hang on to the football. The officials will say it went out on the 19. Derek Walker, the tight end, on the right. Desmond Howard split to the right. He comes in motion left where McMurtry set. Hand off Ford. Power sweep left. Cuts it upfield into traffic. He's hit by Daniel Howell and Malvin Hunter. Got a couple to the 21, that's all. Michigan on top, 21-0, and Bo's out to establish that run. Hand off Jefferson, he bounces outside to the right. Met as he got up to the 25, might have fallen forward to the 26. Don Davey on the tackle from defensive end. There's a fake to Jefferson. Gerback to throw on third down, fires. Howard dots it in the air and somehow makes the catch as he is hit by Raphael Robinson. Held the ball at the 33. A great juggling catch in traffic by Desmond Magic Howard. He pulled a rabbit out of the hat there, didn't he? A remarkable catch. I thought that was going to come off his pass and be intercepted, and somehow he was able to stay on the ball. Out after his clutch grab. Some guys will do anything for innovation, you know? It's like <laughs> your golf game. I've seen that double clutch out of you. That's the old TC action. Little delay, handoff goes to Jefferson, right side, Malvin Hunter, the ever-present inside linebacker, all over him. Wisconsin, second and eight, handoff goes to Horde, high steps it over the line, then he stumbled when he came down over the 40, 41, or 42. Gain of about six for Leroy Boy, had he kept his balance when he landed after that hurdle over one of the fallen Badger defenders. Yes, when he runs, the ball... Uh, comes up, he holds it in jeopardy as it comes out of his body because he because he runs so hard. Wishbone look now on third and two. Handoff Bowles going left. He is met by inside linebacker Brendan Lynch. Bounces off of him, fights forward, and he may have a first down to the 43. Leon Johnson checks out of that defensive front, replaced by Bill Antoni for the Badgers. Here is a fake to Jefferson. Gerback back, firing into the wind. Right side caught by McMurtry. Had to go low, made the grab just over midfield in front of Eddie Fletcher. Held on at the 49 of Wisconsin for a gain of seven. Down three to go. Wolverines at the Badger 49. Gerback drops to throw. Firing right sideline. Wide open. Bowles makes the catch. He is hit by Fletcher. Bumped out of bounds at the 35. Gain of 14. First down, Michigan. Good First catch. and 10 at the 35. Handoff Horde coming straight up the middle. Plunges forward for about three to 32. Just the one. Second down, seven to go. Michigan at the 32. Play action fake. Gerback to throw. Left side. McMurtry's got it. He tries to dodge Lamar White. Can't do it. He's tackled at the 21. Gain of 11 more. First down, Michigan. 6.42 left in the football game. Wolverines lead 21 to nothing. Warren down there. I'm sure it's the marshmallows again. Down in the student corner in the northwest section of the field. Warren, I think you ought to get a stick and a bonfire going and have a little... Marshmallow roast down there tonight. They're kind of dirty, though, Frank. They've been rolled around here on the ground as I step on them. <laughs> a 
Gerback gives on a draw to Bulls drilled in the backfield for a loss on the 25. A goal to the loss of four on the play. Good defensive play by Scott Boyke has checked into that defensive front for the Badgers. Now Michigan's tried to run the ball 38 times today and I'll bet you half of them have been draw plays. Second and 14 here. Gerback marking the signals from the Badger 25. Big blitz coming. Drops to throw. Gets a good block from Bowles against the blitz. Fires right side. It's caught inside the 15-yard line by Derek Alexander. He's tackled immediately by Troy Vincent. Great job of blocking by Tony Bowles picking up the blitz. Good throw by Gerback. And the Wolverines are inside the 15-yard line facing third and three from the Badgers 14. For the wishbone now on this third down play. Michigan 7 out of 14 in third down situations. And Gerback with a little mix-up in the backfield. And Michigan will not get the first down. Gerback held onto it himself and was tackled on the 15 for a yard lost on the play. It'll be a 33-yard attempt from the right hash. Ken Solom will hold. Steve Everett snaps it back there, placed down, the kick on its way, long enough, high enough, and it's good. That's seven out of seven this year for J.D. Carlson. And with 4.19 to go, the Wolverines now lead it by a score of 24 to nothing. And we're high toward the far side. Robert Williams comes up, grabs it on the 15. He's hemmed in over there. He'll get to the 20, the 21, and that is it. He'll roll right to throw. Tim Williams coming on a blitz, and Williams can't catch up with him. Now finally does, back at the 13. And he had some help from Sylvester Buster Stanley. Wisconsin to just one first down and 14 yards total offense. And now the Badgers tight end, Kerry Miller, jumps the snap count. That'll set him back five more yards to the eight-yard line. It'll be second and 23. Standing today. They've been, this defense has been good all year. Same again. Michigan takes over on the 45. One play. Tony Bowles runs for a touchdown. Here's Wilson giving out a delay to Hunt off the left side. And he's going to be stopped by Mike Evans short of the 10-yard line. Badgers back on their nine-yard line. And Wilson rolling right to throw. Williams coming on a blitz again. Forces him back inside. Evans wraps him up and sacks him on the five-yard line. Michigan's fifth sack of the day. And with 2.20 remaining, the Badgers have to punt out of their own end zone. Becky with no pressure this time. Hits a low punt. Wellborn waits for it. Grabs it on the Badger 47. He dodges the first man down. Cuts to his left. Gets a little seam and fights inside the 40 down to the 37. And with a minute 45 to go after the run back of about 12 yards by Wellborn. Gerback with the eye formation behind him has Leggett and Jefferson there. He gives on a draw to Jefferson. Cutting upfield, breaks one tackle, and then he's hit by Lynch, the inside linebacker of the 30. Carries him a couple of yards down to the 28, and now a Wisconsin player takes a swing at Dean Dingman. Flag is thrown, and we'll see what the call is. Game was good for nine by Allen Jefferson, who has now gained 41 yards in 10 carries today. Bowles, the leading rusher, 94 yards in 15 runs. The ball at the 43, so they've got 16 to go. Minute 15 left, 24-0. Gerback, play action, fake shovel pass to Leggett. Forward to the 40, he's hit from behind and knocked to the Wisconsin 35. A gain of about eight on the play, and that was an awfully long shovel pass. Gerback shoveled it forward about four yards. Nicely executed, though. Nicely executed. And you got to remember about a shovel pass. If it's dropped, it's merely an incomplete pass. Don't forget, after the game... Bob will be down in the locker room with Bo Rich. Kincaid has scores from all over the country. Here's the handoff now. Going left, John Vaughn, who's in it running back. He's looking for some space. Doesn't find much. 24-0 over Wisconsin. This will be the Wolverines' third straight victory. They'll open the Big Ten campaign with a shutout today against the Badgers. And with eight seconds left, seven. Michigan won't even have to snap the ball again. Crowd counting it down to two seconds, one second, and that's it. The ball game's over. Michigan has won it by a score of 24 to nothing. Warren Pierce down on the field with standout linebacker Alex Marshall. Warren? I tell you, the defense had to get the offense riled up today. Well, we just came out. We knew what we had to do. We knew we had to shut this offense down. We had to contain the quarterback and not let them run a lot of option on, get on our perimeter. So we just came out and did what we had to do. The, uh, the offense a little slow. Anything said particularly at halftime to get everybody motivated? Well, he was pissed. <laughs>
Bow with fists. And uh, he came out, we came out, and we just did what we knew we had to do. Did what we <laughs> came from, uh, A lot of yelling at halftime or encouragement? So that's what uh, that he just means, came Mark. in and told us what we had to do, and that was about it. That was enough said. Right, Michigan State, next week. <laughs> we're, just, we're just coming out ready for him. We'll be ready. Well, obviously, Bo Schemeckler, to say the least, was upset at <laughs> halftime. I would think it must have given him a piece of his mind that motivated the uh, the offense. So the defense certainly playing well for the first and the second half. Well, Warren, I'll give you this. You do get some candid comments. <laughs> Warren Pierce down on the field with Alex Marshall, obviously feeling the opposite emotions as Bo Schembechler was at halftime. I think uh, upset is the operative word here, Frank. <laughs> Michigan 24, Wisconsin nothing. The first shutout for the Wolverines since the Big Ten opener two years ago against these same Badgers, whom they defeated 49 to nothing. Today, 24 nothing, the Wolverines. The offense still not really kicking it into gear, but in the second half, that defense was so dominant, Michigan's offense did manage to come up with 17 more points after the defense scored the only points of the first half, and Michigan walks away with a 24 to nothing victory. All right, well, it wasn't exactly, uh, wasn't a squeaker. No, it was no, not. it wasn't a squeaker, but uh, 24 to nothing, it's not what Bo was hoping for. No, it wasn't, but no. I'd really love to hear that halftime speech. <laughs> As Warren uh, caught down there, he must have been pissed. Pissed off. That's yes. that, I think he got it all. I'm with uh, Kevin Smith. He is the general manager of WLLZ Radio in Detroit, where Mitch Album of the Detroit Free Press is a regular uh, on your radio station, right? Yes, uh, he does uh, 725, uh, 825, and then also Sunday nights. But uh, Quite a coup for you guys. I'll tell you one thing. Being at a Michigan game for the first time in my life is an experience. In some way, I'm going to figure out how to get more tickets. <laughs> well, we'll get you back up here again. I appreciate sure. it. Arthur, thank well, you very listen, much. I'm glad I you could be here. It. And we'll be back uh, with all the action, of course, when Michigan takes on Indiana at homecoming, which is the next home game. But before that, we've got to go up to East Lansing next week, and then Iowa in Iowa after that. For the University of Michigan, I'm Art Volo in Ann Arbor. We'll see you next time.